Hi, welcome to Adventure RV Group here in Napa. I'm Sheena and I want to talk about one of my new favorites, the Forest River Vibe 26DB. It is such a cool floor plan. They've taken the double bunk floor plan and just made it as cool as they could. So over here, we have the electric front tongue jack. This is so cool. It does have a manual override. I have to admit when it comes to putting this on and off the back of our truck, I love that I get to come here and press a button. It's very nice. This is a new upgraded propane tank cover. It's a little bit stronger than the ones before. It also has a really cool new look. So stronger, better. Front end cap, gel coated front end cap. It's aerodynamic. You have an accent of LED lights up here. You've got the black diamond plating and that's gonna keep from rocks cracking anything or breaking anything. It's to protect your coach. It's definitely a very good feature to have. And then right down here, you have a battery disconnect switch. That's gonna innate, that's going to turn off the battery connection while it sits in storage, prolonging the life of your battery. Up top on this one, you do have a PVC roof. It is a strong, durable, tear resistant, puncture resistant, one piece, seamless roof. It's a great, great roof material. Some say it's the best in the industry. The baggage door is huge. You can definitely fit your tiki torches, your cornhole boards, the generators, whatever you want inside of this baggage door. And best of all, it's held up with a magnetic clip. That makes for loading and unloading very easy. They also put all your tools right on the front wall here so that you have easy access to the crank handle for the stabilizer jacks, the manual crank for the front end. Um, really convenient little area in here. And then one more thing up here on the front nose, you've got your JT strong arm stabilizer jacks. You do have four, one on each of the four corners. That's gonna make it so that all the motion inside of your trailer is really contained. Uh, somebody said, ocean sickness belongs on the ocean. You won't get any rock and rolling if you set these down right and stabilize those tires. In the side center of your coach, you have your, again, magnet that holds up the baggage door, access to your outside griddle. This is gonna keep the party centralized outside where you wanna be underneath the awning. I apologize, the awning isn't fully open. We've got a pretty strong wind here, so we don't want it ripping off. But the LED lights up here are super cool, just in case you want to not bring out the lantern and see what you're doing. <laughs> I also want to point out the solid step. The solid step is really nice and stable when you're loading things in and out. It's an extra wide step. It's really easy to use. It folds all the way straight up and down inside of your extra wide door. Over here, notice that the extra wide axle spread on the Vibes, it's probably one of my favorite features. It's like a built-in sway controller. It's gonna give you a lot of stability when you're going down the road and it just, you know, that's the foundation that we're working on with the Vibe. Build it strong all the way from the ground up. On the back side of the Vibe 26DB, we have a bonus storage, which I like to call it. This is something that you don't see on all the trailers. Most of it does the front nose pass through. This is awesome. Little extra storage for anything you need for dumping, your sewer, hoses, tools, anything like that. You also have an outside shower back here. You've got your Santee flush so that after you use your toilet, if anything gets stuck on the sidewalls, it'll clean off all the sidewalls. Um, your pre-wiring for the backup cameras also back here. It's a Furion backup camera prep. It's a great backup camera, good screen. You just gotta pick out the right one for you. Down below here, we've got the dump station, all easy access with your power plug and your cable satellite prep here too. We've made it inside this Vibe 26 DB. This floor plan, I'm ready to trade in my own bunk house for this bunk. It is so cool. It has three storage points. You have this like entryway pantry. You have your floor to ce ceiling shelves as a secondary pantry. And then you have a closet in the bedroom. More than just those two hanging on the side, you've got an additional real size closet. That's something that's gonna make you and the family so much more comfortable that a lot of the other brands aren't thinking of. Very cool floor plan. Here's your beautiful open one 
stainless steel sink right here. The faucet does come down so you can really spray things. On this corner, I'm kind of tucked back here because I do want to show you the control panel right here. It's going to tell you all the levels of your batteries, your black tank, your gray tank, where you're going to turn on your water pump, the lights, the water heater, the awning, the slide out, and the heat pads. You do have heat pads on your tanks underneath. That's going to help in colder weather in case you wake up in the snow one morning in the mountains. Um, you also have a heated system down there that has extra ducting opening up into the completely sealed up underbelly of this vibe. That's going to keep everything nice and toasty, warm enough to not freeze is what they're going for. <laughs> Now, this is letting us know that we do have 190 watts of solar on the roof already, uh, brought to you by GoPower. GoPower is not some cheap off-brand. It's a really a nice company to have your solar done by. Right above me is this beautiful skylight in here. It opens up so you can see and also closes up in case that light's just a little bit too bright for you. The Entertainment Center beautiful entertainment center. I love the use of this space. Uh, the reason why you get this corner spot is because of this extra pantry kind of having that wall. This is on a swivel. I love that. See, when you're cooking dinner, you'd see the game, whatever you've got going on. Maybe it's the greatest showman DVD. <laughs> Great movie. <laughs> um, you've got space down here for DVDs, games, Yahtzee, whatever you can imagine down there, sequence, still trying to beat my husband at. Uh, the fireplace down here is an electric heater, or you can turn off all heat elements and just have it as ambience. It has a couple colors, so you can change the vibes in here. It's really, really beautiful. No pun intended, vibes. The couch is a hideaway sofa bed. It pulls out, it's actually really quite comfortable to sit on, and it makes it to a really nice bed. You've got these roller shades that make it really easy to keep clean, really easy to make your entire trailer private, which I really like. And then they're black out, so they're really keeping the sun out if it's too bright and you're wanting to take a siesta. The U-shaped dinette on this also makes for a great secondary or third sleeping area. U-shaped um, dinette, almost a double bed. It also makes for a great game table. The Vibes Kitchen, really a lovely countertop that they've given you here. This has extra bonus counter space. You've got real wooden drawers throughout the kitchen, extra storage underneath the sink. You have this three range stove with the glass cover. This is great for cooking those big meals. Down below here, you've got the Furion oven. I love this Furion oven. They've got lights, they've got a glass door so you can peep in there and make sure nothing's boiling over. This is a better up oven than they've done in trailers before. It's a pulsating flame so that it actually won't burn the center of whatever you're cooking. Uh, beautifully done. I absolutely love cooking on these things. Now, if you're not a big cooker, you've also got the microwave. <laughs> Throw it in the microwave, good to go. Dinner, camping, and uh, you're on to the next thing. You've got a fan and a light there for you. And then a huge oversized Dometic 12 volt fridge. This is a great size refrigerator, 10.4 cubic feet. You can bring the entire fridge from home. Beer, snacks, all the meat and food you want. It's great. Now. One of the features that I've already mentioned, but it's worth mentioning again, is this pantry. I love it. It's floor to ceiling. It has space for all the food. It also has space for the towels, for whatever fun stuff that maybe the kids need to kind of store in here. You have all that space in this guy. And speaking of the kids, where the kids will sleep, these bunks, they're double bunks. They're the teddy bear soft fuzzy mattresses. Uh, both of the bunks have their own windows. Kids love that. They like to not feel trapped in there. It's really a nice, great feature. Uh, very comfortable. I've thrown a few friends up there and they can vouch. The bathroom is a great size, not to mention it has its very own door. So when kids are running in and out of your trailer, at least the dirt and the sand and the grime is contained. Uh, that is something that I love about these bunk models with dual doors. You've got a huge bathtub, 
bathtubs are becoming more and more rare. So if you like to wash the dog, wash the baby, wash your feet, or if you're small enough, you could take a bath in here. It's actually a pretty good size for an, an RV uh, bathtub. You got a nice, beautiful, done shower head. It has a good pressure coming through. And the large bladed fan. The vent fan will suck the air out. It's beautiful. It works really great for keeping moisture contained in a shower situation. You've got two lights in the bathroom. A lot of times they only give you one so that you can see everything that's going on in here. You've got a beautiful med medicine cabinet. And guess what? More storage. <laughs> storage is so important. You've got a decent sink so you can actually wash your face. You could brush your teeth and a little bit of counter space. They've done a great bathroom on this five bunkhouse. We've made it to the master suite. This is a queen size bed. You've got your hanging closet over there. You've got some great storage up here. This is an area that they make specifically if you need a CPAP or any other vision you have for this spot if you don't need a CPAP. It's great for water bottles. It's got a nice little cubby down here. You have storage underneath the bed. You can put a TV up on the wall. And this one is prepped for a second air conditioner. You heard that right. So if you really like to go to Arizona in the summertime and you want extra air conditioning, you can throw a second air conditioner up there with the wiring already prepped for you. This also has a very nice closet here. It has a hanger up there and then some shelves and a shoe spot down there on the floor or whatever else you can imagine. Very well done bath bedroom. I absolutely love this trailer. I'll give you the specs. Thanks for watching, you guys. Happy camping. The 2023 Forest River Vibe 26DB has a total length of 34 feet and two inches long. The unloaded vehicle weight rating is 6,640 pounds and has a freshwater tank capacity of 39 gallons, a gray water tank capacity of 96 gallons, and black water capacity of 32 gallons. This is a beautiful trailer. It will fit your family plus some. Give us a call, I'd love to show it to you. Like and subscribe. Thank you.